Okay, we're going to graph the intersection of this combined inequality in two variables, a two-dimensional combined inequality. But to do that with a TI, and that's the goal <clears throat> of this particular exercise, the goal here is to use the TI, the TI graphing calculator. And so that means I have to get these inequalities in slope-intercept form. Um, this one is OK. But this one needs to get worked with, and that's what I'm going to do right now. I've got 4x minus y is greater than or equal to 4. I think the easiest way to do this, and I like easy, is I'm going to add y to the other side, and then I'll subtract y to the left. Okay, here we go. I'm going to add y, and I'm going to add y. That will give me 4x is greater than or equal to 4 plus y. Now I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. Over here, 4 minus 4 is 0. So I will have 4x minus 4 is greater than or equal to y. Now I want you to stop and think for a minute. If 4x minus 4 is greater than or equal to y, then y is less than 4x minus 4. So I'm going to turn this around the other way. y is less than or equal to 4x minus 4. Now this inequality is in slope-intercept form, and I'm going to be able to put this in the TI graphing calculator. Watch what we do. Now we have our two lines in slope-intercept form. Of course, this one always was in slope-intercept form, but now we have this one in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to go to y equals. And I'm going to let y1 equal 4x minus 4. 4x minus 4. OK, I need two lines for 4x minus 4. So I'm going to go second, graph. Did I say two lines? I meant two points. All right, how about the point 0, negative 4? And, all right, let's go there. The point 0, negative 4. And the point, I could go to 1, 0, couldn't I? right there. Okay, now I'm going to graph y is less than 2, but for now I'm going to make it y equals 2. Okay, now let's get some points for y equals 2. I don't want this line interfering, okay? So if I go up to y1 and over to the left so that the equal sign is blinking, and if I hit enter, notice how the highlighting now is off the equal sign. For now, the calculator doesn't know it's there. It's only going to give me the points for y equals 2. And 
and here we go. Look at how y equals 2 all the way up and down, and I can pick any convenient points. So I'm going to click on the line tool, and I will plot the point 0, 2. And then how about 4, 2? I just felt like doing that. 4, 2. And now I have my lines, but I'm not going to click on Save because there's a good deal else I have to do. Well, actually, there's not a lot else. Just watch. Okay, I'm going to turn that equal sign back on now. I'm going to go over to the left and hit Enter. Now I'm going to graph the two lines on the calculator. And they do look like what I see in my math lab. Now I'm going back to y equals. Notice that this line has become y is less than four, less than or equal to 4x minus 4. But the, the operative term is less than. So I now, now I'm on line Y1, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to click the left arrow key once, that will put me on the equal sign. Then I'm going to click the left equal sign, uh, the left arrow sign again, and now I have a waggy tail over here on the left. And what I want to do is make that equal less than. And I can do that if I go down to enter. And now look, the waggy tail has changed. And now I've got an upper triangle. The upper triangle means greater than. I need less than. There is the symbol for less than on this calculator. So now I'm going to have, be able to graph y is less than 4x minus 4. Meanwhile, I'm going to have y is less than 2, and I just noticed this. So I'm going back to my graph, and I'm going to click on, not that one, I need this one. Click on that one. I have to turn this into a dashed line because it's only uh, the, uh, the inequalities that have a line underneath them that will give us a solid line. This is a strict inequality. It will give us a dashed line. So now it's active. It's yellow. I'm going to go down here to where the dashed line symbol is and click on that. And look at that. The line now is dashed. Okay, now. I need to also make y less than 2 a less than sign over here, which is a lower triangle. So I'm going to have to change that also. I come directly down, and now the waggy tail is wagging over here. I hit Enter, and Enter, and Enter, and now I have this reads y is less than or equal to, actually it's, it's all the same, less than or equal to or just less than 4x minus 4. And this reads y is less than 2. Now I'm going to graph. Watch what happens. You see where the lines overlap. That is where I'm going to bring my, my uh, paint can. So I'm going to drop and drag the paint can to this quadrant right here, to this area. Drop it. Click. And there, I have it shaded. So I'll hit Save. And then I'll check my answer. Well done. Woo-woo. Okay. 
Talk to you later. Watch this a few times to get the steps.